Hello guys, good day to all. This is Mike Padawan. We're back to our latest analysis for this Tuesday, June 13 until Thursday, June 15, 2023. And this is our English version brought to you by Naga College Foundation, about this power, Bank of the Philippine Islands, and Avenue Plaza Hotel. Let's begin with our update. Here is now the uh, latest uh, graph set we created uh, uh, last night. And uh, we have uh, one tropical storm, Google already outside of par and it's already a, a subtropical cyclone and eventually it could become a an extra tropical cyclone as it accelerates rapidly towards the northeast and the southwest monsoon will continue to prevail across the western sections of central and northern Luzon that includes Ilocos region, Cordillera administrative region as well as the western sections of central Luzon from Zambales, Bataan, Tarlac, and also uh, some portions of Cavite, Batangas, and Metro Manila. There will be some passing thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. And it will be more frequent along uh, Ilocos region, so please take all necessary precautions against possible flooding and landslides and lightning strikes when we have these uh, severe thunderstorms uh, embedded within the uh, southwest monsoon. Now, the southwest monsoon is currently enhanced by a strong frontal system which is located uh, to the east of uh, Taiwan and along the southwestern edge of this frontal system we have uh, the long 99W it's been here for uh, some two weeks now but the good news it's not expected to intensify since it is now connected with the frontal system 99W will accelerate towards the northeast across Taiwan without any significant intensification so it will remain a 35 kph low pressure system with low chance of becoming a tropical cyclone so the weather over western Luzon will continue for the next two or three days so please take all the precautions for the possible uh, effects of the uh, southwest monsoon or habagat in tagalog uh, the rest of the philippine islands will remain uh, sunny to cloudy with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms particularly in the afternoon or evening there are some clouds that is uh, generated by a developing a shallow lpa here but still a uh, surface trough later on we are going to confirm this if it becomes a shallow lpa since it's becoming larger and larger over palau and uh, the good news this won't intensify as well by the way, the uh, possibility of flooding and landslides here over Western Luzon is low to medium. Okay, so uh, again, uh, take care, guys, down there in uh, Western Luzon. We have IDCZ here over the uh, central and eastern Micronesia. Let's take a look at the fast animation. So there you go. This is now the uh, shallow LPA somewhere here, and we have uh, very thick uh, cloudiness generated by the southwesterly uh, monsoon or southwest monsoon and Google is now up up here it can no longer be seen on the uh, uh, satellite loop here's now the uh, uh, converging uh, shallow uh, or soon to be a shallow LPA but it's currently disorganized it's, all, it's, it's still a part of a surface trough and we have another one here and if we take a look at the zoom in satellite animation for the past six hours beginning 5 a.m to 11 o'clock this morning there you go lots of lots of rain will be expected across western Luzon because of the uh, southwest monsoon and this is now the uh, one that we are observing another uh, converging uh, cloudiness generated by a surface trough it's quite elongated and uh, this uh, cloudiness will bring uh, thunderstorms across Mindanao in the next couple of days, particularly in the afternoon or evening. And uh, likely uh, we are still observing if it will become a shallow LPA in the next couple of hours. And if you take a look at the latest uh, wind and pressure forecast from the European model for the next uh, three days. So uh, later this afternoon. Here's the uh, surface trough that is trying to become a shallow LPA. Here's the uh, frontal system. Okay, there's the uh, frontal system here. And this is now an LPA 99W. And here's the uh, winds of 30 to 60 kph affecting the uh, coastal waters of Ilocos region. Wednesday afternoon, uh, 99W will exit 
to the east of uh, Taiwan, in the vicinity of uh, Mishigaki-jima or uh, Yayama Islands, as it moves towards the Okinawa Islands, okay, of uh, Ryukyu. And the southwest monsoon is starting to weaken, but still affecting Batanes Babuyan Group. Calm conditions across uh, Bicol region, Visayas, Mindanao, parts of Mimaropa. Variable winds will be expected tomorrow, Wednesday, on Thursday afternoon. So, uh, uh, that uh, surface trough is uh, currently uh, nowhere to be found, and it's already uh, dissipated on uh, Thursday. Variable winds will continue on Thursday across uh, Bico, Visayas, parts of Mimaropa, and Mindanao with uh, possible afternoon or evening rain showers. The southwest monsoon has uh, waned down. It's just a uh, southwesterly wind flow affecting the western sections of Luzon. And here comes uh, LPA 99W becoming a subtropical uh, cyclone or even an uh, extratropical cyclone. We are still uh, observing this if it become a 4W or the next tropical cyclone as it passes to the south of Japan. It's not yet clear, but uh, let's uh, hope and pray it won't develop. And so far, that's the latest from the wind and facial forecast. Let's take a look at the rainfall accumulation for the next three days until Thursday. As you can see, most of the uh, rainfall are concentrated across the western sections of Luzon from Ilocos province, Ilocos from Ilocos Norte down to uh, Bata Bataan. So uh, please take all necessary precautions against possible uh, flooding and landslides. And also here, across Batanes and Mabuyang Kubab Islands, the rainfall accumulation will be from uh, 25 to 100 uh, millimeters. Uh, roughly, uh, the average rainfall here is uh, up to 50 millimeters per day. And that will be until Thursday. And here over Visayas, including Masbate, and Mindanao, we have isolated scattered rain showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening until uh, Thursday. That is due to an approaching surface trough. But these are more of a local in nature. Okay, and also here over Bicol region, lower chances of thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. But there are some that will penetrate in some areas of Bicol region. And uh, so far, that's the latest for today, uh, Tuesday, June 13th. And we will return again on Thursday to give you more updates on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying good day to all. Hope you'll have a great uh, week ahead. And thank you so much for watching our channel.